guys welcome back to this course so in this video we will basically update our product like if you want to update anything of a product then we have to update that using this route okay so first of all I will simply type here like update product that goes to slash API slash v1 then the product and then the ID of that product okay oops that is only id so exports dot update product equals to a sync request response next so first of all i have to find the product so let type here const product equals to await oops product dot find by id that is request or params dot id and i'm going to copy this one from here right if product does not exist and i simply pass here message that success false and product not found with the 404 status code okay but if it exists then we have to update the product okay so i simply type here product like let's add here let because i want to reassign it so let product and then oops so we type here product equals to await product dot find by find by id and update so this is a function that will find it by id and then update it so find by id and update so the id is request dot params dot id and then we have to pass in the new data that is in request dot body okay and then we have to pass here some uh, pass a uh, object here that is new to true just to avoid some warnings and so type here run validators that is true and then use find and uh, if I find modify to false okay I will simply send back res dot send 200 dot JSON and success to true and the product okay all right so now if I simply save it go back here simply copy it from here and that is slash product slash id and this is going to be the admin router so we'll type here admin so admin slash product slash id that is put and the function name is i think so update product so simply copy it from here and paste it here and also paste it right here also let's add here admin just to know that this is admin route so let's save it so now let's test it if i go back to my postman and simply click on edit oh sorry create new product and let's add here admin slash product slash new so let's save it and close it so this is a put it goes to domain slash api slash v1 slash admin slash the product slash the id of that product now for example if i click on send from here i copy this id from here i go to body row json let's pass in here this i want to update the stock uh, i want to add here quotes for example if it has stock of 50 let's add here 100 okay so i, I want to update the stock so if i click on send from here so we get here okay uh, let me go back check it out 
So I think we have some error here. Let me check it out. Cannot send headers after they are sent. Oops, that is status. Okay, Just press Control S. Now if I go back and click on Send from here, you can see that its stock is hundred. If I go back here, click on Send, you can see that now its stock is hundred. All right, so it is working properly. I simply save it. Update product. Update product by its ID. Alright. So now we have updated the product successfully. Also, I tap here. Admin. Now this is optional, but I want to put here admin just to separate it. And let me also type here admin. Good. So now in my next video, I want to handle the delete product functionality.